Nigel, uh, put that game into words for me. How, how, how did that feel to you out on the court? Well, it was just, I mean, it was an amazing game to be in a great atmosphere. Um, even though we didn't have the full crowd attendance, it just felt great to be able to give them a run for their money. I mean, everybody probably looked over us, didn't expect it to be a good game. It felt good to be able to get the people what they wanted. It felt good for us to, you know, have courage and show our improvement of what we made from beginning of the year uh, to now. So it felt really good for us, really good for our confidence. How far has has your team come in the last month or so? I mean, I think we even came a whole totally different team. I mean, if we could if we could just start off as in this month as a whole new year, I mean, I feel like we'd be ranked top top 15 in the country. I mean, at least all the good teams that we've beaten, all the good teams that we played with, I mean, nobody would think of, you know, the rest of the year what's happened. I mean, from this from this year, it looks like we're a whole new team. I mean, it feels like you can give us a preview of what's going to happen in the next few years to come. And I feel like we're showing that already. And how good was Dave Yon in that first half? Man, he was, he was excellent. Not great, not good, excellent. I mean, finishing, diving, screening, playing defense. I mean, everything we know that he has, every t- all the talent we know he has, I mean, he, he was putting on full execution. I mean, I'm so proud of him. Um, he stayed in there. He fought. He made his free throws. Um, couldn't ask much more of him. I mean, he did his part. We just didn't get the job finished. Thank you, young man. Good game. Thank you. Uh, next question to Karen Kornacki. Nigel, can you hear me okay? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Great game for you. Tell me a little bit about, it seemed like you were surprising them with your ability to make that three-point shot. Just talk a little bit about your game today and the openings that you had. Um, Did Baylor underestimate you? Um, I feel like they kind of knew coming into. I mean, I'm pretty sure teams have scouted just like we do. I mean, they know you can't let them get some rhythm, get some shots going. I mean, once I seen a couple go in, I started getting that rhythm. To me, and I feel like I was able to some knock down some shots when I seen a little, even just a little space. I mean, everybody makes defensive breakdowns, but um, once that rhythm starts going for me, I feel like you know, once I put it up there, I, I full confidence in myself and my teammates and my coaches do as well. What was said in the locker room afterwards? I mean, you basically said, you know, how you wish the season could start now because the rhythm is there, and you guys are now all clicking and you're beating teams. Um, what was said in the locker room afterwards? Because you guys did play well today and you kept this game within reach. I mean, coach was just really proud of us, all the coaches. I mean, they seen how big strides we made since the beginning of the year. Um, they brought up, you know, early losses that we made and we lost to and now we're competing with what's so the best team in the country. I mean, nobody would expect it that. Uh, the first two times we played them, we got our butts kicked. I mean, we got embarrassed. Um, now we're, we're giving a fight. To the end, guys there on their team were even, you know, surprised, shocked, nervous. Um, we put them in a different situation, you know, they're not really used to. I mean, it just felt great. Our coach told us, you know, I mean, it sucks for it to end, but now it's our time to get better individually, come back next year, and, you know, get ready to make a big run and keep this momentum going. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, next question to Kellis Robinette. Hey, Nigel, uh, can you explain what happened on that late possession where you just kind of threw the ball up at the rim where you just opened to get a foul out of that? I mean, he kind of threw, Mike threw it to me. I, I knew he was going to anticipate the steal. So I kind of jumped, kind of went into him because I knew he was going to, it was going to be a fight for the ball. I mean, I felt the a, a necessary contact, a excessive contact. I felt like they were going to blow the whistle, try to get, you know, a three to go with it. Didn't get it. Kind of made myself look stupid. Probably look a source center or something, but. I mean, it sucks to have the season end the way it did like that. I mean, I know, you know, the game is not defined on one play, but that one play made a huge difference to the turnout of the game. And I kind of blame myself for that. But a uh, young mistake that I made, I wish I could get it back, but I can't. So. Yeah, understandable. And um, if there's one like big key you think this team needs to work on before next season, what do you think that is? Um, I just feel like individually, Everybody has something they can improve on. I feel like um, everybody has, you know, a special thing they need to work on. That will make us better individuals. I feel like what makes Baylor so talented is, you know, all the individuals put in that, that grind and that work where they can all go get a basket whenever necessary. And I feel like that's the 
that's what we all could work on a little bit more. Uh, everybody being able to go go get to the basket, go get something, go get a basket, whatever. And I feel like we'll be an even better team than we are. Hey, thanks, Nigel. Appreciate your help this year. Thank you. Hey, uh, next question to John Kurtz. Hey, Nigel, did you feel like you guys caught them by surprise at all today? Did you feel like the same level of respect that you typically would from an opponent out there on the court? I mean, I feel like, you know, nobody really expected anything out of us. I mean, it wasn't a shock to us. Probably a shock to everybody else. Um, I mean, we gave them a fight. We knew that was going to come in. We knew it was going to be a dog fight. Um, they probably didn't think so, but because the last two turnouts of what happened, I feel like we gave, a, gave them a great run for their money. I mean, we kind of opened our eyes for them. I mean, it's a great tournament, a great conference to be in. So, I mean, any given night, a team could beat you. And I feel like we had that night tonight. We just couldn't finish. What do you feel like the, the team that played the last two days here in Kansas City would have finished or how the season would have gone if that team played the entire year for you guys? Now, I feel like we would have been competing for a Big 12 championship. I mean, we might be the youngest team, one of the youngest teams in the country, but I feel like the experience that we've gotten and how much we've grown as a team, and as a brotherhood, I feel like we had this all year. I mean, we'd have been easily ranked many, many times this year. We'd have been playing for a Big 12 championship. And then even in the conference today, we could have been, we'd have been in the NCAA tournament next week. And then who knows from then. I appreciate it, Nigel. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. We'll do one last question for Nigel, for Jackson Snyder. Hey, Nigel, you, you mentioned how your team is so young, but you, you're so confident in, in – where you're at now and how far you've come. What, what do you think that the, the biggest, like the big, what's the big picture like, I guess is what I'm asking for you and the guys. What's, what's the next step out off of this? You have off season now, but, but what's next for you, you guys? I mean, we see what it takes now. I mean, we went through our first year kind of not knowing. I mean, COVID kind of threw everything off. I feel like now we can have a regular year, hopefully. Um, be able to get into work, get work with each other over the summer, be able to improve. I feel like that'd be a good thing for us. Um, and then get that experience that we are, we got that experience this year. So therefore next year we can go in knowing, knowing what to expect, knowing the work that it takes and knowing what, what it takes to win. I mean, that's what it, that's what all it comes down to. And then be able to shock some people next year. I mean, I feel like we got the talent. We definitely got the coaching. We definitely got, you know, the support to win a big 12 championship. We just got to believe it, put the work in and then, it, you know, it will happen for us. Thanks, Nigel. Appreciate it. Thank you.